So let's see that how to convert the daikon images to voxel files uh, using Flare. So these are the files in this folder. So we have daikon images and we have a material uh, file. So in this file, basically we convert the uh, uh, house field unit to the materials. Like if the house field unit is within this range, then the materials is like uh, nitrogen and oxygen, something like that. And then we have another two files, body and head, basically to convert to the house field unit to densities. So if the house field unit is within this range, then this is a, a lower and upper bound of the uh, densities. So basically, uh, Daikon images have house, house field unit. So from the house field unit, we convert it to a, a specific material, and then we convert it to a specific density. So these two files are just the input file for the uh, flow kind of flare. So now let's see that how to convert the uh, Daikon images to voxel file. So first, uh, let, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, shit. So let's go to the folder. Oh, shit. So let's open the flare. And then there is a, a daikon icon here. So we add, so we choose the daikon folder, double click, and choose this one. Okay. And then slice. Uh, you can see that. So this is Z from negative 12.6 to, to positive, something like that. And, and for this one, uh, this is whole region and we may not need this whole region so we may want to chop it to slice it so what we can do is here so, so if you move, move the mouse uh, within this region you can see these lines X Y Z so we know that uh, where the uh, where what is the range of the X so which was from from negative 12 to 12 you see the change a little bit. Uh, y, let's start from from negative 10, something like that, to 12. Remember, for Z, uh, I think there is there is a bug in the in the code. You cannot do Z, Z here. If you want to chop the Z, what you can do is to, let's say, I want to choose choose Z from negative 11 and, all, and delete all the other uh, ones before 11 then you can delete all these uh, daikon images yeah, this is one way to do it this is a trick also sometimes they is not uh, you have some digit digits several digits you can use other uh, software like MATLAB or Python to convert these let's say locations Okay, next let's we can chop this region next information. So you can see that uh, this is original uh, voxels. Uh, this is the size of voxels in three directions. And, and this is after the after we chop the uh, voxel, so it's a bit less. And then we choose voxel. So we choose material, we choose material file, and then the uh, uh, unit to material. So we choose body. Actually, the body and head, uh, these conversions is for humans, not for mouse. But here, we, I think it's a good approximation. But, and we don't have some something similar to mouse. So we use uh, human human uh, input file as mouse. So here, uh, the voxel name. So let's choose uh, uh, what 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 is abdomen, abdomen. Here, there is a trick. You cannot name it like this. You cannot put a voxel name into the uh, voxel file name. Otherwise, there is something wrong. So we can just use abdomen or VO is OK. Here, we can also name a, a, a file to store the, maybe the those probably. 
um, maybe ab, those, something like that. And then you need to convert, uh, click voxel. Now you see your file is generated, the voxel file. And then you can also do this one, but it's not necessary. So you can see, we can see that now we have the, oh sorry, we have, where it is, we have the abdomen voxel generated. This is voxel file that we want to convert. Next, you can use this voxel to do Monte Carlo calculations. Let's see, let's uh, input, let's open a flare. What a flare open, yeah. This disregard the uh, deco images, so we choose a mouse dose, something like that. It will be loaded and here. So we have to choose the red name abdomen voxel here. Huh? What's wrong? If the red, then there's something wrong. Oh no, it's not, it's not red. No. Yeah, okay. And then there is a rotation translation here. Oh, I don't know, let's see what, what happens. And then you can set up the rotation and and transformation here to place, basically to place the the box in the red position. And this is the uh, the scorer, basically to calculate the dose uh, within the box region. So you can choose the uh, range x y z range and also the number of uh, uh, cells the voxels and, and here we use a 51 bin and this is number of runs but for this one let's take a look at the the geometry now looks looks like looks like it's good we can also look at 3d uh, and then you choose orbit then you can Rotate, yeah. I think it's here. The voxel is here, okay. And then wait, why is red? And then you can run. I know there's something wrong with run because I guess there's a, so we can refresh. You see, it's finished very far. There's something wrong. I guess there's something wrong uh, with my setup here, but anyway, this is process. So, regarding to <laughs> Why it is red? Let's see. Let's see. Let's rename it. Abdomen, something like that. Input file. Let's choose abdomen. Oh, it works. So you see. Oh, what? What? Wait. So you see. Sometimes you even cannot name it. VO, I mean, abdomen VO is not working, so we have to <laughs> be careful the name. So I think now, if you look at, yeah, so the it's not it's not red anymore. So yeah, this is a process to generate the voxel and import the voxel to the to the uh, uh, flare or fluka calculations. Okay. Uh, let me see save. Save